Coming to you from the innovative, immersive Hyundai Virtual Next Weather Sphere. This is Next Weather. Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly back with us. And Bill, it doesn't really feel like August out there today. <laughs> no. No, we are, we are out and about today, and this morning, I mean, you almost had to put a light jacket on. You're like, well, okay, a little chilly out. Yeah, we're going to be changing things up a little bit. Good evening, everybody, but not a ton. It's not like we're going back up to the mid-90s tomorrow or anything. The focus this week, of course, is going to be on Hurricane Aaron and how that impacts us down the shore. Look at how choppy the water already is. It's going to be pretty remarkable come Wednesday and Thursday, especially, where we could be talking about wave heights up to maybe 10 feet even at the shore locations, not well offshore. Now you're talking about the temperatures. We're at 69 degrees right now for you guys in Trenton, 67 in Atlantic City. We're only 70 degrees right now in Philly. Got 71 for you folks up around the Lehigh Valley. The clouds are in place. Let me open up the door here and you can see live over Center City. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the radar. And there's not a lot of rain, but there are a few showers. And you see them down here into South Jersey. Folks down around uh, places like Millville, you may have a couple of light showers in and around your area. Now near Dover, we have some of those. But the general thing is it's just cloudy, as you see outside in our area. Most of us, though, from Philly back to the west are drying things out. There could be a couple of showers as we go into the next 24 hours, but we don't have a big organized weather system, anything like that, that will be in our area. So let's walk you through that. Here's what our future cast looks like right now. Clouds stay in the area. A couple light showers continue to roll on out, and then the remainder of the evening, that's kind of what it's going to be. Good sleeping weather, actually. Temperatures are going to be comfortable. Your air conditioners can take a much needed break there. And by tomorrow morning out the door, it's still cloudy. We have just some light sprinkles from time to time here and there. Of course, Kate's in tomorrow morning. She's going to walk you through where any of those spots are if you're making your way out. And here's what it is tomorrow afternoon. Kind of what you see is what you get. A little bit warmer than today with just a few stray showers here and there. So the next eight hours heading on out, temperatures stay in those low 70s around most of the region. 68 degrees by 11 we will go 67 at 3 o'clock in the morning, eventually getting down into the mid 60s. And then like today, cloudy well below normal. We should be well up into the mid 80s this time of year. We're going to go into the mid 70s, so slightly warmer than it was uh, than it is right now tomorrow. Quick update here on Hurricane Aaron. There it is. Category four storm watching it very closely going to work up between the eastern seaboard and the Bahamas. But all that energy. I mean, look, you go offshore when this crosses. We're talking about winds over 100 miles per hour. So all that wave energy over the coming day is going to be pushing into the shore locations. It's not just the Jersey Shore, the Delaware beaches. It's up and down the entire thing. So again, something we are going to continue to watch very, very closely. All right, so that is what's happening there. Let's talk about your seven day details and what you can expect in the coming days. Temperature wise, here's what we have. We're going to go 76 tomorrow, so a little bit warm. We'll jump it to about 80 degrees on Wednesday. Again, still well below normal in the mid 80s. It's only August, and I'm sure the kiddos on this last weekend before Labor Day, of course, Labor Day would be the last weekend before school starts for most. They can go out and they can enjoy. Temperatures are in the mid 80s. It's not going to be smoking hot, but it will be nice and warm about seasonal. But also, I want to point out, check out these lows. We have this northerly wind, and so our lows are down in the mid 60s each day, and that means that humidity levels are not going to be out of control, and which is kind of rare for this time of year. So make sure you get out and enjoy that, and then we'll be watching next week, Sunday, and even Monday for some stray showers as we get to that part. But Hurricane Aaron, again, is going to be the big focus this week, especially if you're going to or live down the shore locations. We'll be right back.